So, why are the Thai domains so expensive? You probably tried to register a .com domain, but the one you want, it was already taken. So you try to explore different domain extensions and you see a .thai domain as a good alternative. But when you try to type any domain, you see a price usually over $20 per year or maybe more than $50 per year. So, why is that happening? After all, you haven't heard before the Thai domain. You may have heard .com, .net and .org. So briefly, let's explain what is the Thai domain. Typically, it's a country code top level domain for British Indian Ocean territory. So it is something like .uk for United Kingdom. But everyone in the world he can register that domain so there is no limitation but why to register this kind of domain the reason is that there is an underlying meaning behind dot io the common concept of input output as we see here in computing input output is the communication between an information processing system such as a computer and the outside world possibly a human or another information processing system. So, for this underlying meaning, is very popular in startups. Startups are always more open to innovation, so they want to try something new. So, Dotaio is actually an alternative for them. Okay, one reason for the very expensive price is the demand from startups. Another main reason is the prices that a registry sets. What is a registry? It's something like a wholesaler and it is a database that contains domain owner information like name, address, phone, etc. For .com, VeriSign is the registry and for .io, Internet Computer Bureau provides the registry services. Because they are the wholesaler, they set a standard fee. For example, if a domain name costs $28, they take $20 from it. Of course, I don't know the exact price. And then Namecheap or GoDaddy adds their profits. But maybe sometimes they do not add any profit. Or maybe they lose something per domain because they sell something alongside with the domain registration like hosting or they increase the price for the next years so let's recap startup demand and wholesaler fee what we call registry are the two top drivers for the price okay there is something else we need to say about the price do you see that very hot keywords especially commercial ones like auto insurance are very expensive even on .io because domain investors they see the potential they know that there is growing demand from companies so they have raised the prices even for these domain names you can see here from the survey I have done that .io is second amongst the top domain extensions I have links for that post that explain everything for startup name trends from length, extension or everything you need to know and I also have a dedicated post for .io domain you can visit that link below and please don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoy this video bye